So don't mind the floor, but let me go ahead. I'm unboxing this right now. I don't know where to start. Because I don't want to ruin the... Oh my god. I feel like this is going to take forever. I don't know where to unpack it from. Maybe here? Hmm, maybe. Let's see. For you, you guys who like ASMR. Alright, that's one layer. I think there's another one over here, see? Honestly, I thought it was gonna be in, in black box, but it's okay. This is still really, really pretty. So let me go and take this out. <gasps> Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It is here. I'm so excited. Alright. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. Hold on. All right, I decided to wear gloves because anyone in the BJD community always wear gloves. And I feel really official right now wearing gloves. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and take her out. So this is the, uh, this, it came with a certificate of authenticity and also um, eyes, I believe. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm actually doing a video like this. You know, I only see this from like, you know, Andrea and Nicole's dreams and other BJD um, collectors and I can't believe I'm actually making a video like this. Alright, there's that one, there's this one as well. Here. Alright, let's go. <gasps> she has some weight to her. All right, let me go take this out really quickly. Let me go through this, what's inside this envelope. Wow. So it's just a history and you know what? Um, it's just a history of the Popovi sisters. It's like a, a card over here. This is the front. It's really cool. I wish the box was like this. <laughs> Um, what are these? It says um, what the material is, the mold, little owl. Um, it's for adult collectors age 18 and over. And then these are the eyes that I ordered. And these are in the color gray. Yep. It has some weight to her, you guys. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my god, she's wearing the eyes. She's wearing the other eyes. I was kind of worried about that. She's wearing the other eyes. I officially unboxed her. Um, but just a disclaimer, this doll is hyper realistic with the details and everything like that. I just wanted to give you guys a disclaimer. If you guys are uncomfortable with doll nudity, then I suggest to click away. So this head sculpt is actually called Little Owl. This is the style of her face and the mold of her face and her head. So this is um, a style where she has pouty lips and her eyes are very seductive. And then it's just very cool because she does have a very cutesy, at the same time very elegant and seductive kind of look. And then towards the back you see kind of like the sister's um, watermark. It just says Popovi Sisters and that's how you know it's pretty much authentic and you can see that her ears are actually pierced as well. For her torso you guys can see she is very detailed in every single way. She has rib cage detailing, she has collarbone, she has her um, belly button and also towards the back you can see every single detail um, in there and it's very very cool especially when you body blush these dolls. Um, with it's the same exact thing with Monster High when you body blush um, in terms of you know scraping and all that because when you move your doll from side to side it can actually still chip the body blushing so that's just something that you really can prevent. 
For her, um, I guess, stomach, you can actually see all the fine details on her pelvic bones. You can see how her abs are really, really defined. Just by the cast shadow, you'll see every single thing is detailed. I'm not going to show you guys the bottom part of her because it's um, very PG. But if you guys want to see more pictures, I suggest go on Instagram and I'll post all of that there. You guys can also see over here that her hands are so freaking elegant. It's posed very very like eloquently i guess and it's just very elegant and dainty very feminine as well um her right hand is actually a different pose but it's still very elegant um it's just that the fingers are posed differently one more thing i really really love about this doll is her feet her feet are so detailed if you guys just look at the back of this you can see all of the lines it's very realistic you can see veins there um, her feet is in the ballet heel um, style, so she can only wear he um, ballet heels, which is still very cool. Her feet does not look good if you make it straight. It's really meant to be a ballet um, look. So I put her against um, Frankie Stein from Monster High, and as you guys can see, she is a lot smaller than Frankie Stein. Frankie Stein is 17 inches, and I believe Popovi sisters are 14 or 15, but yeah. Alright, so I actually wanted to move here with the point background so we can actually see her postability. I can give you guys a much better review. So the dolls are actually, they're casted in resin, so they're a little more fragile and a little more delicate. And she is double jointed for the most part. So being double jointed, it pretty much means that you have more posability. Her eyes, I'll show you guys her eyes later. So for the neck, she is jointed in the neck, so it's a new feature that they added where she can do this all the way out like that. Um, so that's crazy. So she does pivot. Her arms can rotate, but the elbows are double jointed. And you can see over here, this is the, um, the back of it. She does have jointing here as well. She pivots, torso, side to side. For her thighs, she reaches all the way up. So it's kind of cool. Um, and then like I said, she is double jointed in the knee as well. One thing I look for whenever I'm, I have a new doll with, pres with articulation is if they can cross their legs. And that's what I tried with her and she can. I love it when dolls are able to cross, cross, cross their legs because that's um, my a favorite pose of mine. So I'm just posing her right now so you guys can see. That's what I try to do with my dolls is I try to make them pose really, really nicely cross leg. Let me go ahead and play with her and you know I'll show you guys I'll showcase also her posability. So like I said, she can you can for ball jointed dolls you can change their um, eye colors. So for that one, you can actually take off her head cap over here, but it's just gonna be like this, and it is magnetic. And there we go. It even says little owl over here, and then this is the inside of it. So this is the string that keeps the doll together. And um, yeah, you just have the the eyes there. Um, so I ordered two sets of eyes like I told you guys. I ordered a white one and also the blue one. Um, I'm not gonna go and change this right now because I don't have spare putty. And then you just go ahead and put it back like that. So for my Popovi, um, I don't have a name for her yet and I don't have clothes for her yet. I don't have hair for her. I do plan on making hair for her myself. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop in this photo that I actually drew for a contest from them before. Um, this is the inspiration that I got. I designed every single thing. I designed the corset. I designed her and the entire thing and I designed it based off of Little Owl's um, face mold. Um, and I do want to recreate the, the same exact corset and the same exact look, same exact hair. That's why I went to an artist who knows what they're doing, who knows how to sew, who knows how to fabricate things like that, and um, create that for me. I know that I can probably make something out of, you know, 
foam or something but I do want it professionally made because this doll is everything to me and I also am planning on commissioning um, someone to make her shoes as well. Like I said, her head sculpt is Little Owl. Her skin tone is in ivory. Her She has the new body. Um, I think that's just what it's called, new body. And her feet is in ballet, um, ballet heel. You have to contact Igor. And he is very wonderful. He's so friendly and very helpful. He will answer every single question you have. Um, but that, that is how you order from the sisters, is through Igor. I would like you guys to help me name her. I know that she doesn't have clothes on, she doesn't even have her makeup yet. Um, I will be making, I will be repainting her and also giving her body blushing. Um, but let me know a name for her, judging from the artwork that is right beside her. What should I name this doll? I. I'm bad at coming up with names. I honestly don't know. For that specific character, she will have her white eyes. Um, so just let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this doll. For more pictures of her and poses, check out my Instagram page down below. I'm also going to link them down below if you guys are interested in purchasing her. But um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here and sharing this experience with me. I am so, so excited because, like I said, I would have never in a million years dreamed that I would be doing an unboxing video of a ball jointed doll. And here I am doing it and I'm really, 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 really happy. And I'm really, really thankful as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!